In the realm of classic cinema, The Old Man and the Sea stands as a cinematic testament to the indomitable human spirit. Released in 1958, this film, directed by John Sturgis, adapts Ernest Hemingway's Pulitzer Prize-winning novella into a compelling visual narrative. As you reflect on this cinematic journey, one cannot help but ponder. Out of the many roles portrayed in this tale of resilience, which one resonated with you the most? Did the struggles of the aging fisherman Santiago strike a chord, or did the relentless battle with the marlin capture your imagination? Perhaps there's a specific scene or moment that etched itself into your memory, leaving a lasting impact. Was it the fierce struggle between man and nature, the poignant solitude of the old fisherman against the vastness of the sea, or the quiet strength emanating from Spencer Tracy's portrayal of Santiago? Share your thoughts on the scenes that linger in your mind. Now, as we delve into some fascinating facts about this cinematic gem, consider your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Did it evoke emotions that stayed with you over the years? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, creating a space to celebrate the enduring power of this cinematic classic. And now, let's unravel some intriguing details about The Old Man and the Sea. Did you know that the film's screenplay was penned by Peter Virdal, who collaborated closely with Hemingway himself? This collaboration ensured a faithful adaptation that retained the essence of the novella. The film also boasts a captivating musical score composed by Dmitry Tiomkin, enhancing the emotional depth of Santiago's journey. As you revisit or explore the old man and the sea, let these details enrich your appreciation for this timeless tale of resilience and determination. Share your insights, your favorite roles, and the moments that left a lasting impression. We're eager to hear your reflections on this cinematic masterpiece. The Old Man and the Sea, a 1958 film directed by John Sturges, is a cinematic adaptation of Ernest Hemingway's Pulitzer Prize-winning novella of the same name. Set against the backdrop of the Cuban coast, the story revolves around Santiago, an aging Cuban fisherman, and his relentless pursuit of a giant marlin. The film artfully captures the essence of Hemingway's prose, portraying Santiago's solitary struggle against the elements and the relentless sea. Spencer Tracy delivers a compelling performance as the weathered fisherman, embodying the resilience and dignity of Hemingway's iconic character. The movie's unique style lies in its minimalistic approach, mirroring the novella's sparse yet evocative narrative. Sturges skillfully uses cinematography to convey Santiago's internal battles and the unforgiving nature of the sea. The film's impact on popular culture is profound, as it remains a timeless exploration of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. Its influence extends beyond its initial release, solidifying its place in the pantheon of classic cinema. The Old Man and the Sea stands as a testament to the enduring power of Hemingway's storytelling, immortalized on screen by Sturges and Tracy. Spencer Tracy, embodying the weathered Cuban fisherman Santiago, faced a unique challenge during the production of the film. Prior to shooting, he was urged to shed weight for authenticity, a request he opted not to fulfill. Tracy's steadfast refusal to conform to conventional Hollywood standards added a layer of authenticity to his portrayal of Santiago, capturing the character's resilience and determination. This commitment to the role mirrored the overarching theme of the film, an unwavering pursuit of the colossal Marlin despite challenges. Moreover, notable trivia surrounds the supporting cast. Felipe Pazos Jr. assumed the role of the boy in the film. Interestingly, his father, Felipe Pazos S.R., held the position of president at the Banco Nacional de Cuba, leaving an indelible mark on Cuban currency. Pazos S.R.'s signature graced the Cuban national band notes of 1949 and 1960. This connection adds a nuanced layer to the film's narrative, bringing an unexpected intersection of the cinematic and financial worlds. Intriguingly, the film's visual elements contribute to its allure. The surf shots, capturing both the opening scenes and the African beach sequences, hail from various Hawaiian beaches. This cross-geographical blending adds a layer of complexity to the film's visual storytelling, transcending its Cuban setting and linking it with diverse landscapes. The 1958 movie The Old Man and the Sea, directed by John Sturges, not only presents a compelling narrative of resilience, but also bears witness to the dedication of its cast and the intricate details that shape its authenticity, making it a timeless piece of cinema. Spencer Tracy's steadfastness, Felipe Pazos Jr.'s unexpected connection to Cuban currency, and the transcontinental visual elements all contribute to the film's enduring impact.
Ernest Hemingway's debut in the 1958 film The Old Man, and the sea adds a unique layer to its narrative. In a surprising turn, the renowned author makes his first appearance in the movie's final scene, seated in a cafe wearing a tan baseball cap, engaging in conversation with fellow fishermen. This cameo marks a significant moment as it showcases Hemingway's connection to the cinematic adaptation of his Pulitzer Prize-winning novella. Director John Sturges, who took the helm after replacing Fred Zinnemann, skillfully brings Hemingway's story to life on the screen. Sturgis' direction, coupled with Spencer Tracy's steadfast portrayal of the aging Cuban fisherman Santiago, captures the essence of the novella's solitary struggle against the elements and the relentless sea. Tracy's commitment to the role, including his refusal to conform to Hollywood standards by shedding weight for authenticity, adds a layer of realism to the character's resilience and determination. The film's supporting cast also contributes intriguing details. Felipe Pazos Jr., who assumes the role of the boy in the film, brings an unexpected connection to Cuban currency through his father, Felipe Pazos S.R., the former president of the Banco Nacional de Cuba. This connection adds a nuanced layer to the film's narrative, intertwining the cinematic and financial worlds in an unexpected way. Furthermore, the film's visual elements, including surf shots from various Hawaiian beaches, transcend its Cuban setting. This cross-geographical blending adds complexity to the visual storytelling, linking the narrative with diverse landscapes and enhancing the film's enduring impact. In conclusion, The Old Man and the Sea, beyond being a cinematic adaptation of Hemingway's novella, becomes a canvas for unexpected intersections and authentic portrayals. From Hemingway's cameo to Spencer Tracy's steadfastness and the unexpected financial connection in the supporting cast, each element contributes to the film's timeless significance. As we cast our minds back to the cinematic tapestry of 1958, we find ourselves entangled in the timeless allure of a narrative that transcends the boundaries of mere storytelling. The Old Man and the Sea, an opus etched in the golden pages of film history, beckons us to traverse the depths of introspection and unearth the pearls of our own connection with its profound tale. Whether it's the rhythmic dance of the waves on the silver screen or the stoic resilience of the old man battling nature's relentless whims, each frame is a brush stroke on the canvas of our own experiences. Now, as you stand at the crossroads of memory and sentiment, we invite you to share the fragments of your soul that resonate with this masterpiece. Perhaps it's the haunting melody of the sea breeze that lingers in the corridors of your mind, or the quiet strength mirrored in the old man's eyes that mirrors your own battles. Maybe it's a fleeting moment when the vast expanse of the ocean mirrored the infinite possibilities within your own journey. In this communal exploration of shared memories, we unravel the tapestry of emotions that binds us to this cinematic gem. Your thoughts, reflections, and personal anecdotes are the threads that weave this dialogue, turning the solitary act of watching into a collective celebration of the human spirit. As you pen down your musings and share the echoes of your connection with the old man and the sea, remember that you are not merely recounting a story. You are adding your unique verse to the ballad of shared experiences. Your voice is the wind that fills the sails of this collective voyage. Thank you for allowing us to navigate the depths of your thoughts and for breathing life into the cinematic legacy that continues to echo through time. Your presence in this narrative transforms it from a solitary reflection into a shared symphonia testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Embark on this journey with us. Let your words be the currents that guide us through the sea of memories. Together, let's celebrate the magic of storytelling and the indelible mark it leaves on the human heart. Until our paths cross again, happy reflections, and thank you for sharing this moment in the vast sea of stories.